BR sort 37 Greek and Latin elements with amounts. Let's sort these out and then talk about what these things might mean. So we're going to start by just doing a pattern sort. If it has that in it, and we put it there. As you can see, we have a lot of headers. So you're going to want to either spread them out or as you cut them out, cut down the line and cut off these extra, extra white parts off the side. Magnificent polysyllabic. Maybe I should put this the other way. Minuscule. Does that give you an idea what mini might mean? Unequal. Omnipotent. There we go. I know you're not going to be able to see all of that, but we'll move it back and forth. Minimum. Polygon. Magnification. Magnification. Huh, that is a long word. I think this is polysyllabic. Equitable. Polyglot. Polytechnic. Magnitude. Omnivore. Aquanimity. Equanimity. Diminish. Polygamy. Omnipsent. Equator. Minute or minute, depending on where the emphasis goes. Equilateral equation. Minnow equivalent and mince. Let's look at each of these. Maggie, what do you think that means? Make sure you also write down what these words mean. It doesn't have a specific number to it, but it means a great amount. So great. Magnificent. Magnification makes it bigger, yes. Magnitude. We talk about earthquakes and what their magnitude is. I want you to recognize that this thick here right in the middle, this means make. So magnificent actually just means to make great. So the fic means make and magnum means great. To make great. It's a magnificent play. So what do you suppose min means? It means small. Bet you got that clue from some of these. Minuscule. That makes, reminds me of small things. The minimum, diminish, means to get smaller or quieter. Um, a minute isn't very long. And minute, like say you wanted to put a minute amount of sugar. That would be just a very small amount. A minnow, very small fish. And to mince is when you cut something up into teeny tiny pieces. Polly, do you have a clue what poly means? Polly means many. Make sure you also write down what the meanings of these words are because you know I'm going to be asking you. Many. Polysyllabic. That comes from syllable. Many syllables. That means it has at least three syllables. Polysyllabic. That word has a lot of syllables. A polygon. This has to do with many angles on a shape. A polyglot. This means tongue, but it doesn't mean someone who has a lot of tongues. It means someone who can speak a lot of languages because sometimes a language is called a tongue. Polytechnic. There's some schools that have this as their name. A polytechnic school has many subjects uh, in different areas, many classes. Polygamy means when you have more than one 
husband or wife. So then we get to equa. Equa? I bet you have an idea. You know that the prefix un means not, so this means not equal. Equitable would be if you were trying to have an equitable solution and be fair to everybody. Some people get this, some people get that. Um, so I bet you already know that it all it means equal, the same, or maybe about the same. <laughs> all right, now we have a new word here. So we know this means equal. What does this part mean? It has to do with your temperament um, and your mind. So you ha you're of an equal mind. You're very calm. The equator that goes in the earth divides the earth into two equal pieces. Equilateral would mean a shape that has equal sides. An equation, you know the equal sign on both sides of the equation. It has to be the same. It has to be equal. And then equivalent would mean, say, an equivalent fraction. Both fractions equal the same thing. They're both the same thing whether you have 1 over 2 or, say, 3 over 6. They're both half. And those fractions are equivalent. All right, and omni. Uh, this reminds me of one of the points of views, omnificent, um, when you are all-knowing. So omni means all. You remember what a herbivore and a carnivore is? Well, here's your omnivore that eats all different kinds of animals and plants. And then we have an omnipotent. Hmm. I'm going to let you look that one up. Sometimes I have to look up words too. So whenever we come to a word that you don't know, please look it up. All right, so write down what the meanings of these elements are on your sort record.